back to the pen and inkwell. So I'm going to be looking at a notebook today and I don't do notebook reviews very often. In fact, this is only the second one that I've really looked at, but I have to. Um, I have really appreciate beautiful leather products, particularly notebooks that you can just keep using and using and using. But also ones that you can sort of keep, because obviously if you've just got a leather notebook, a bound notebook, at the end of the day that you've complete that notebook and it's finished, which I do like as far as sort of, you know, my journals are concerned. I'm able to put them on the shelf and there they are and they look nice and everything. However, when I'm looking at things like work and planning and um, just organising daily sort of things, then that doesn't work. You know, I don't, I don't see the sort of the gain or the benefit of having beautiful sort of, well, those sort of small bound notebooks don't work as well because I need to go back and forth, move things around and add things and change things up. So those of you who know, I've, I use one notebook. I use the William Hanna notebook. In fact, I have two of them now. One of them that I use to plan everything for this site and the other one I'm going to start using as my journal once my the current one is finished and full. Um, but this is a new one to me. But it's been around, once I sort of noticed it, I sort of found that a lot of people had noticed this for quite some time now. And there's an odd story behind it, which you might be interested to know, you might not, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So as a family, we go down to a little beautiful place in South Devon called Torcross. And we've been going, my husband was going on holiday there as a child with his family. And for the last probably six, seven years, every so often we go down there as a family for, and spend a week down there. Beautiful house, right on the beach. It's just idyllic. Um, and right around the corner from there is a little place called Start Bay, which again, right on the beach. And you know, it's just a place that I dream of retiring in or moving down to or finding a way that I can earn a living to be able to live in that neck of the woods and have that sort of lifestyle. Um, as we got back from our holiday this year, I was posting some stuff on Instagram and I put a hashtag Start Bay on there. And from there, I found a company called Start Bay Notebooks or somebody on Instagram called Start Bay Notebooks that were posting pictures of beautiful leather notebooks. But by notebooks, I mean, you know, more like a sort of the traveller's notebook type system. I've tried the traveller's notebook system before and I've had a traveller's notebook and I've sold that on. And the reason I sold that on was because the size for me was just odd. You know, it was longer than it was wide and I just sort of didn't feel that I found a way of being able to sort of utilise it well enough because it just was, it was just too thin. Um, but I loved the concept of that. And then I, I, you know, I tried material versions, which were too flimsy, but again, the size really was bothering me. So I knocked that on the head and didn't bother again, but I liked the versatility of being able to put different notebooks in for different purposes and try that around. So what I've got now is when I found Start Paying Notebooks, I found that they offer a full sort of range of similar systems, but in different sizes and with different sort of internal mechanisms that make them, for me, far more usable, far more practical. And this is it. So I was sent this one, which is an A5 size, which for me, and the reason, the way I use this now is, is for work primarily and for using the back notes, which you'll see in a moment, for um, writing samples here when I'm doing these videos and so on. But this, just the smell of it was absolutely fantastic when it arrived um, and it still feels wonderful. I've had this now probably about six weeks so I wanted to give it a really good run for its money and so I've been carrying this in my handbag not inside a, a book cover or anything like that though it does come with one in a dust sleeve but I did I've just carried it as it is because when you know, for me when I have leather I like the fact that it gets its own character about it and you get these little marks on there and it sort of develops its own um, identity really I suppose. So I'm going to take show you through this in a little more detail now on the inside of it and then um, I'll put some links below as to where you can find them. But say this is just the A5, it also comes now in an A7, a really tiny size A7 and I think it comes in an A6 as well. So and then different colours, so this is the dark leather, it comes in more of a tan leather and it also comes in more of a sort of mustardy yellow colour as well now which is new to the range. 
and then you can get the different charms that go on here. But I'll show you the differences that are available and I'll tell you what I think of this in just two secs. Bye! Welcome back. So we're looking at the Start Bay notebook. So as I said, it comes in a sleeve and this is the sleeve that it came in. This beautiful sort of hessian envelope that this came in, which has a leather band on the front here. Let's see if we can pick this up, which says Start Bay Notebooks on here. Let's take this out. And this is what we have. So this is the A5 and this is the A5 Navigator, or the A5 is all called Navigator, but this is called the Duo. And I'll tell you why now. So what we have is beautiful leather, dark tan leather, with a dark, natural dark brown elastic around there. As I said, I've been using this for about six weeks, so it has worn and the leather has got softer. The back is embossed with Start Bay Notebooks. Yeah, you can see that, Start Bay Notebooks there. So let's open this up and have a look. So what do you have with this? So the options that you have from the website are an A5, which is, which is called the Navigator, available in the Duo, um, which means that you get two elastics to hold two notebooks and then you have elastic at the top here right at the top here which holds a note pad at the back with then that really appealed to me is to be able to make notes rip those out and then have the notebooks I couldn't see for me you know why I'd need more any more than two plus that it also comes in the standard one which holds four a5 notebooks instead so they also sell all the notebooks that are available, so things like the Claire Fontaine. This is a Roger notebook that's in here, and again, this is a Roger dot pad that's in here. Um, I've just covered them to make them look pretty. Um, that's just me. They also then have, this comes in a dark tan leather. It also comes in what they now call chic, which is a, a, a sort of yellowy, a mustard sort of yellow colour, which I also really like the look of as well. Um, you then have the options of the elastic, which comes in a natural brown, a mellow mid-brown, and what they call a statement Sahara elastic. So this retails at £45, which I think is a bit of a bargain for a leather cover like this. They then have the Pioneer, which retails at £35, which is a, measures 140 by 90 so about sort of a six size i think and that holds four notebooks again available in the same with the same sort of options and then new to their line is the little start bay compass tiny little a7 notebook which holds two little a7 notebooks that come included in there um and you can choose the color of your notebooks and then again you have the choices of the elastics but at the moment i noticed on their website they're doing a little free charm with that one as well and that retails at £25. So if you want a little sort of pocket notebook and you want to be able to keep it safe and it's in leather and you've got the options available in there, then that's ideal. So as I said, I've had this for about six weeks. I've got a couple of marks on there where it's knocked against something in my bag. As I said, I have no issue with any of that. You know, I like the fact that it's sort of, you know, getting its own personality. You know, there's some sort of fingerprint marks on there. Again, I have no worries. If it does bother you, you could keep it in the little sort of dust bag, but you know, I sort of wouldn't, but if it does, but you know, that is obviously an option, but all leather, all natural leather is going to mark. Um, what do I think of it? I've been very, very happy with it and I've been using it in work to make notes, which means that I'm able, once I finish one, I can store that away, I can add another one in. And then I've, you know, I've got the rip out option pages here for if I'm just jotting things down, I don't need them in a sort of permanent sort of notebook, then I can just, you know, get rid of that. But I can also put another one in here. The other thing that I did do with this is that we were preparing for an inspection a little while ago in work and there was a lot of sort of A3 type posters that I was folded down to A4 and then putting them in here so I was able to have them open as a sort of, you know, a demonstration sort of page there. So it wasn't the fact that I had to put a notebook in here but just sort of loose pages that I was able to flick through which was great. You know, so if I have loose pages like this I can just, you know, put them in there. I'm not going to do that because these are learners work actually <laughs> so I'm going to put that away. Um, so that's it. So this is Start Bay Notebooks. 
45 pounds for an a4 for an a5 sorry leather notebook i think is very very reasonable indeed i'll put the link to the website below for you to have a look any questions you've got about it please sort of um shoot them my way you can also sort of look them up on instagram and you'll see various people using them some beautiful photographs of them on on um, instagram and um, i'll see you all again very soon bye <laughs>